a final team rock and cheer, and the Iroquois Nationals exit. But they aren't at their desired destination, not even close. Where are we at now? They are in New York City, far from the World Lacrosse Championships in Manchester, England. These team members are carrying passports issued by their tribal federation, the Iroquois Confederacy. The British government is refusing to allow them entry, saying the Native American passports are not internationally recognized travel documents. For security, U.S. passports carry computer identification chips. The Iroquois ones do not. The team is eligible for U.S. or Canadian passports, but team manager Ansley Jamison says they've traveled as recently as 2002 with their own papers. Obviously they want to protect their borders and they're you know, a little bit concerned about you know, just letting anybody into their country with a passport. Um, however, I don't believe the 23 uh, world-class athletes really pose that much of a national security threat. The U.S. State Department has granted the team a one-time waiver to travel without official passports. Spokesman P.J. Crowley. We've done what we can do, uh, and uh, to you know, it, it would appear to us at this point that the uh, the UK has made their final determination. Ironically, lacrosse is thought to have originated centuries ago with the Iroquois and another Native American tribe. U.S. participation in the sport has doubled in the past 10 years, according to a survey by a sports marketing group. The International Lacrosse Federation accepted the Iroquois team into the league in 1990. It's the only Native American team approved to compete in any sport internationally. But because of the passport delay, the Iroquois had to forfeit their first game Thursday night against England, despite the team's spirit. Yeah, we're excited to play without a doubt. That's what we want to do. We put the uniforms on, we started feeling good in the bus, we want to play. For now, the face-off continues, and the players use New York's Hudson River as a backdrop for team photos, rather than the World Championship Center. Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News.